Hey guys, Steve from Lakeshore RV Center. Uh, just going to do the video orientation on your new Montana 3150 bunkhouse. We'll start here um, at the outside, work our way to the inside. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, reach out to me at 231-736-9162. And like I said, we'll get started right here um, at the entrance. Uh, first thing you'll notice are the flip up steps. Uh, you'll want to make sure this door is all the way open. Um, so the catch is right here just rest on the inside of the supports of the door. If that door um, is closed just a little bit, it will catch on the screen part, um, either if you're folding it up or bringing it out. So just make sure you have the door all the way open. Next to this, you're gonna have the uh, pass-through storage. You'll notice inside there is an outlet right there and then also a hookup for um, satellite and cable if you wanna put a television out here. But yeah, huge, massive storage. Next to that, you're going to have um, one of your 30-pound propane tanks. And then in the front compartment here, you're going to have um, two areas. One's going to be storage, power cords in there. Um, that would be where a generator would go. And then next to it, as you probably saw when it was open, um, and by the vent there, that is going to be for the battery next to it. As we come over to the uh, side here, you'll notice this is going to be the command center that's for the auto auto leveling system and i can go over that in detail i'll send you another video as well on how that um, operates pass through storage on the other side and then your hookups are going to be right here and this is going to be for your um to winterize your city water hookup and then your black tank flushes is, is right there um this right here is going to be hook up for satellite. This blue cable is um, for satellite. If you're going to mount it up on the roof, uh, there's a wire up there. It goes into the satellite. Otherwise, if you have portable satellite, you can just unplug that, plug it in here or cable TV next to it. And then, like I said, your other hookups, your black tank flush is right there. And that you'll want to make sure um, you have the valve open for the black tank when you um, turn that on just so it doesn't overflow. Uh, the toilet. This is going to be your um, exhaust for your hot water um, tank and then next to that is going to be for your exhaust for the furnace. And then just inside here pull for the gray tank and your black, your two grays and your black and there is your discharge tube right there. Continuing around these are going to be vents for the um, access panels for the fridge. Your power cord is going to connect here. That is a 50 amp. We do have the adapters inside from 50 to 30. If you're at a park that has um, 30 amp service. And then storage underneath the, uh, the bunk area right there. Ladder up to the top that is rated for 250 pounds. And then also on the side here, get this opened up. This is going to be your outside kitchen right here. Um, with the fridge, that is a 110 that plugs in. There's a light switch under here as well to turn that on. And then your pull out um, grill top there. Coming back over to the entrance. Your second awning's here on the slide out. Your main awning is um, in the front of the camper. And those two are controlled independently from each other. Walking in, first thing you'll notice, this is your converter box. It has your 12-volt um, your fuses and then also your AC um, breakers. Central vac is right next to that. Just up from that, this is going to be all your controls. For the slide outs and the awnings, light, um, water pump, uh, hot water heater, gas electric, the fan up in the kitchen area though. And then this right here is actually for the ceiling fan, which is on right now. So we come into the main living area. You have your recliners, hide a bed sofa right here, and then on off switch for the light and also dimmer as well light switch for your under lighting on the booth. Back up into the bunk area. 
bottom bunk and then top bunk and you can see the uh, usb charging ports as well as um the uh outlet on each of them there and then also another hookup for television as well coming back around into the kitchen area and also entertainment area 30 inch um furion electric uh fireplace that will actually put out heat um, on the under underside of this is going to be your um, am fm cd dvd player and that has two zones you have speakers on the inside and then also speakers on the outside uh, that'll play off the stereo television above that and then as you walk into the kitchen area this is a 30 inch microwave residential size just like you'd have at home three burner stove top this will just flip up out of the way here and that's going to be controlled by the three middle burners this is a spark igniter you can see it right there to ignite and then on the end here this is going to be um, for the oven controls switch right here this is just for the backlighting and the dials and then if you push down it'll also be for the oven light on the inside of the oven fridge on this this is the gas electric um, 12 cubic foot and you can see right here you turn it on um, you can see the automatic LP if you just keep it on automatic what it will do is um, automatically switch over so when you unplug so we're plugged into power now so it's going to run off electric if you unplug it's going to switch over to gas automatically so as long as you have your um, propane tanks open it will be the uh, source for the um, for the fridge here big pantry next to it and then tons of storage just um, next to that as well and then also another outlet more countertop with a couple more drawers right here as we make our way up to the bathroom area main door two acs this is your um, control right here your thermostat for the bedroom ac and then right here uh, the vent which is going to be your your power vent just above this is going to be the control for that foot flush toilet right here and then you can also see this is in the lock position for travel um, for the shower right there into the bedroom pocket door to close this off nice king bed and then again great dresser here lots of storage on both sides of the um, of the front compartment here and just huge drawers in here so guys that is going to be the overview of the montana i look forward to seeing you when you come pick it up and then again if you have any questions while you're using it feel free to reach out to me at 231-736-9162 thank you